welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2. Okay, I have decided which one we're going to go to first. And this is the Pumpkin Zone. So here we go. I've played this game in a while, so this is going to be interesting. And there's the uh, Jason Look Likes. Here we go, down the pipe. Oh, yeah, that would be interesting. Um, one particular Super Mario World game is that, um, yeah, try not to get hit. <laughs> anyway, interesting fact about this game is that, um, you get slightly different power ups in it. Like for example, you get the, um, you get the, well, you get the, the fireball, but you get some, well, I don't know what you get, what, what you get on your head, it looks like rabbit ears. Oh, here we go. The um, flying cap. I don't know if that officially is called a flying cap, but there you go. Oh yeah, and also I would like to point out that in my last video I called this game Super Mario World. Don't know why, don't ask. I just did. It's kind of awkward. Don't get killed by the ghost. So, how have you guys been? Been good? Good? Okay, good. Everything's good. As always. Oh yeah, to let, also let you guys know, I have just joined the um, Let's Play forum as well, so you can find me there now. Stuff like that. So, yeah, I've signed up there. One of, one of my um, dear, good old, one of my friends have gave me a link to it, so I'm quite happy about it. He sent it to me over on Skype, so... So, oh, oh dear god, I hate this guy. Nice. There we go. Something very useful in this kind of stage. The flying cap, in my personal opinion, is very useless. The only time when it actually helped me is possibly. So that's the only level. The tree so is the only useful bit for that bloody damn cap. Apart from that, it's very useful. It's very unreliable. It's good if you want to, well. So we'll get past these guys, like so. So if I, oh, if I remember right, if I get this, hit this, like so, grab this, and now I get a massive bonus. Time where we complete this level and possibly get to the boss. See you around. <laughs> 